Welcome back to episode 24 of the Bazooka Kickboxing Series. And this part of the Bazooka Kickboxing Series is about level changes. Last episode, we talked about the straight right to the body. Now we're gonna change the left hook, which is one of my favorite weapons to do. And it opens up so many different opportunities to finish with the different power shots, and that's what we're gonna show you. Changing levels with your lead hand was a concept we talked about in the building combination section with lead hand, but this time we're gonna talk a little bit more technically about it. So, the first thing we're gonna talk about it is the leg positioning. And in, it's important when throwing the left hook, just as the earlier series shows, it's that shoulder position is gonna get you the most power. So if I'm in here and I don't use my body or my legs, you're not gonna get much power. So you really have to use that load up in order to get a lot of good power in your body punches. So the way we're gonna do it and set it up is we're gonna stay a little bit more stationary now. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna turn our rear shoulder over, which allows me to really turn and get rotational power into the hook. So once I turn my body here, this hook stays loaded. From here, I'm gonna turn. And you're gonna see from my hip position, as I turn, my hip is going through. If my hip is coming up, you're not gonna get power. You have to get the power and the weight transfer going through. So you're gonna really see when I load up my hook, boom, I'm really focusing on getting my hip across. Now, the other important thing is the angle that you throw your lead hook. Now, and it also depends on where my opponent or my partner is keeping the elbow. If their elbow is really tight in, I'm gonna be aiming my hook more around the side and behind his elbow. So I'm gonna turn and I have that positioning here. Now, once you land that shot, you're gonna see him come this way, which now is gonna open up that liver for me. So I'm gonna change my shot and change the angle. So there's no one way to throw the hook. Use the hook to find different angles. But in order to get a good shot to that liver, you don't wanna go too wide with your hooks, okay? Keep your hook in and add a little bit more of a shovel. If you add a little bit more of a shovel, which is coming forward and around, you'll have a better time at hitting that liver. So I'm just gonna hit some back and forth with Evio. Change some angles. More. Hey, weight on the front foot, hand position high. So one of the best ways I like to use for changing levels with my lead hook is my uh, punch shield. So we're gonna start with just the body and then I'm gonna start mixing in doubles and triples, changing levels with my left hook. So let's start with the body. As you can see, I'm changing angles for Aviel to really dig inside. Okay. Head, body. As you can see, Abiel's really using good rotational power. This will allow him to speed up his double hook and get more power in his shots. Double to the body. Head body. Body head. Let's go head body head. Again. Head body head. Okay, let's go straight right. Hook to the body. Good. One, two, hook the body. Again, again, and then go head after. One, two, double, single, head, body, body, head, straight right, double, again, go. So there are so many different ways of landing your left hook to the body and changing levels, but I'm just gonna show you some of my favorites. One of my favorites always is starting my combinations with nice long straight punches. So I'm gonna start with a nice solid one, two to the head, get that defense up and then rip the body. Again, I'm known for my low kick, so I'm gonna hit the body, follow with my low kick. Constantly changing levels, changing strikes, really confuses your opponents. So let's really focus 
just on changing levels with our left hook, but just as we learned in our last episode, after you change levels, it's important to go to the head. So after I hit that body, I need to follow up with another combinations with another level. This way it opens up different holes and different areas on your opponent's defense a lot easier. So watch some of my flows and watch some of my setups with the left hook to the body. So I have Aviel on the wall pad, uppercut bag. So he's just gonna flow with his favorite setup, landing that left hook to the body. After he hits that left hook to the body, I want him to follow up. So Aviel and I are now going to do some combo back exchanging and the key to landing good left hooks to the body is recognizing where your opponent's elbow is and that's what's going to help you. So why we set them up with straight punches to the head because if I punch high and even sometimes I punch to the point where I punch so you can see Aviel's head move back this way it does this and it opens up my body better so changing the angles of my punch all changes the position of the elbow which allows me to set it up so a lot of times i could hit this way fake this way he pauses allows me to hit the body but now if abiel recognizes that i'm continually going out he's going to adjust now i need to adjust and that's where intellectual fighting comes into play so if i hit here and he opens wide and boom i can change in so really watch this elbow positioning in order to land a good left hook to the body and sometimes the left hook to the body might just be a setup to the head. So if he's really protective on his head and you're going for the knockout, boom, you're gonna attack the body, get his elbow positioning down, and then it's gonna open up your hooks to the head, which makes the knockout easier. So just random combo back with our favorite setups. All right, now we're gonna discuss some common mistakes. And the key common mistake comes from the shoulders and the body positioning. If you're not using your legs or your body, there's no real good power in that punch. So make sure you load up, get your body rotating in order to get good power. And in order to get good rotation and good power, you need to have weight on that front foot. If you're hitting and putting weight on your back foot when you're throwing the body shot, you're escaping, you're running away from the power. So transfer on the front leg, attack if you're exiting this way 
you're gonna lose power. So really stand on the, in your ground, stand the position, and grind those two knuckles in the body. So shoulder rotation and leg, not using it as mistake number one. Mistake number two is that hand dropping, and way too many times when the left hook comes, this hand's right down. So make sure when you're inside, you really keep this hand position high and nice and tight. The third mistake I'm gonna make is not finishing or doing anything with the level chains. If you're gonna hit the body, it's gonna open up another hole. Unless it's the end result is to finish with the body, which a lot of times is a good combination, but in my opinion, it's important to go back to the head, finish with the low kick, do something after it. Don't always stop to the body. If you want that knockout, head, body, head. There you have it, episode 24 of the Bazooka Kickboxing Series. The level change to the left hook is one of my favorite ways to set up my punches, my kicks. So really make sure you be creative. If you hit the head, hit the body. Once you go to the body, hit the head. If you see a lot of my bag work, my pad work, my drilling, the using the multiple lead hand is a very good strategy because it sets up good power kicks, sets up your rear power straight. So be creative with the way you set up those levels, keep changing levels, keep changing angles. You have to always remember there's no one way of throwing it. Each punch can be thrown in so many different angles and variations, set up so many different ways, um, finished so many different ways. So be creative with your combinations and your level changes. Um, next week we'll start talking about different level changes with our kicking. So if you're liking the series, make sure you like, subscribe, and if you like these shirts, bazookakickboxing.com shop. We'll see you next week.